Hello sports fans, this is Steven here for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special debate video. I'm going to be covering the Michael Sam being drafted to the St. Louis Rams. Um, a lot of crazy stuff went on over the weekend, just breaking down some of the things. The St. Louis Rams, if you have not heard by now, with the 249th pick, um, selected Michael Sam, a linebacker from Missouri, the first openly known uh, homosexual or gay player, whatever you want to call it. Um, was taken in the draft. Um, a lot of media coverage was given to it. You're looking at ESPN who was actually at his home or, or at a family's home of his or an acquaintance of his caught the moment on camera, him crying, him kissing his boyfriend, him kissing his boyfriend with cake all over his face. To me, I was very disappointed with ESPN. It looked very made up. The the whole gist of this thing, the whole gist of him being gay and and oh he's a he's a he's a pioneer, he's he's a trailblazer. No, he's really not. When you look at basically look at the situation for what it is, Michael Sam is is a admittedly gay player. The media is focusing on not that he's a football player, that he's gay. So when it comes down to it, it looks like, oh, everything he does is a first. So you got to catch it on camera. You got to catch it on tape. Oh, to me, I don't care about what he does. Now, I think it's very disrespectful. I think it's very um, kind of unsettling when you look at him and, and, and as far as people calling him a pioneer or a trailblazer because... Being African American, I take pride in knowing that pioneers before me were pioneers like Harriet Tubman, Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, people like that, that you saw what they did. They made a stand against slavery. They made a stand against um, unmoral civil rights beliefs uh, from all people, not just some people. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't care that Michael Sam's gay. What he chooses to do in the privacy of his home is his business. But when when watching the NFL draft, I did not expect to see that. It was unsettling because that's not what I agree with in life for a lifestyle. Um, some people argue that you're born gay. That's totally idiotic, but, I mean, that's their belief. But when it comes down to it, I care not who he dates, man, woman, or whatever the case is. What I care about is the football player on the field. If he's not producing, and and that's attributes to that but to get back to the subject on hand a pioneer or or a trailblazer somebody that that does something it doesn't have to be the first to to do it but they hold the torch and they carry the torch proudly and move forward and and help progress things what espn did was put on a full circus the only thing that wasn't in that room was an elephant in a giraffe jumping in off off of uh jumping through hoops and rings and swords and swallowing swords so when I look at Martin Luther King, he was a pioneer. When I look at Harriet Tubman, she was a pioneer. Malcolm X, with their helping to end slavery, helping to get everybody equal rights as far as um, African Americans and things like that, minorities, things like that, those are true pioneers. They died for, for what they believed in. And when it comes to Michael Sam, he chooses to be openly gay. He's not doing anything special. Because he chooses to lay up with another grown man, because he chooses to have sex with a grown man, because he chooses to suck, uh, uh, whatever he wants to do with that grown man, that's none of my business. But don't call him a trailblazer. He's not. Don't give him credit for something he did not do. Now, if that's the case, we can easily say, okay, well, let's give prostitutes uh, uh trailblazers and 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 pioneer awards because they sleep with random men that they don't know so for me it's stupid this whole michael sam is oh he's he's incredible and he's courageous and and when i when i see obama tweet out stuff it's dumb it's dumb i'm not accepting I'm not accepting praise for a football player being homosexual and what he does off the field is more paraded than what he does on the field. I don't agree with it. Um, like I said before, if you want to be homosexual, go for it. I, I just don't believe in that lifestyle. But when it comes down to it, I don't think that this is good for the NFL as far as giving this publicity to it. And, and, and the more that they give this kind of publicity to it, the more of a circus it's creating. Um, and I have a problem with a lot of the things that NFL does because 
there's a certain gentleman that used to be in the NFL by the name of Tim Tebow. Tebow was a model citizen. Uh, he stood on the beliefs of Jesus Christ. He stood on the foundation that he was a Christian. And you see where that got him. That got him out the NFL. And a lot of people say, oh, it's because he couldn't pass the ball. Let's be honest about this. Tim Tebow became bigger than the NFL. He became bigger because the simple fact that Tebow mania, because he spread the word of Jesus Christ, he had little kids, he had grown men, he had soccer moms, he had grandmas, he had aunts, uncles, everybody um, really tuning in. You see what he did in the playoffs that just boosted his credibility as far as a football player. But when it comes down to it, Tim Tebow was shunned at the NFL. Let's make one thing certain, two things for sure. Tim Tebow was not just kicked out the NFL. Well, not kicked out, but not shunned or blackballed out just because he couldn't pass like a Tom Brady or something like that. Tim Tebow won games. And and if you look at his track record, he did a pretty good job of winning football games. At the end of the day, winning football games is what, what matters. He took a dead in the water Denver Broncos team, turned him around and made him a playoff contender. So um, another problem I have with Don Jones, the Miami Dolphins player who got fined for basically tweeting um, his personal opinions about the whole situation. And I think that in society we've gotten too soft because really you should be able to, uh, to tweet how you feel. You should because it's freedom of speech. He didn't call the man a faggot. He didn't call the man a bitch. He didn't call the man outside his name. He just said wild and horrible. You know, he disagrees with it. Not all people are going to be comfortable with a homosexual in the workplace, especially when you have to shower together, when you're playing a physical contact sport where you could be tackled by the homosexual man. It's not everybody feels comfortable with that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And I'll say this again. I'm not giving kudos. I'm not giving shout outs. I'm not giving praises. I'm not celebrating anything a homosexual or gay, whatever term you want to call it, player, uh, man or woman, does just because they're gay. If they do something on the gridiron or on the court, yes, yes, then we can celebrate those things because those things matter not if you're gay or straight. If you go out and get 50 sacks in a single season, I'll congratulate you, pat you on your back, job well done for that. But when it comes to what you do in your bedroom, no, that's none of my business. But when you get on national TV and little kids watch the draft and you have to look at um, just explaining to, to, to little kids that, that, that have asked on Twitter or Facebook and things like that, what do you think about Michael Sam and, 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 and having to explain, like some of the parents reaching out and asking, how do you explain that kissing men is wrong to a little kid that looks up to athletes? It's crazy. Um, but I want to know what you guys feel. Do you guys feel that the Michael Sam situation is a little too much? And with the media coverage playing it damn near 24-7 and you all you see is kissing, 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 kissing and crying. What, what? What really is is a healthy balance to this? When will it just be, okay, he's gay, we get it, but it's about the sports. So if the St. Louis Rams cut him because he's not good enough to make the team, should they get backlash from that? You know, so it's 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 so many questions and it's so many so much of can of worms, it's crazy. But at the end of the day, like I said, to reiterate how I feel, um, Michael Sam, the football player, good luck to you in the NFL. I do think he should get a fair shot. But as far as showing the homosexuality and the 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 gay lifestyle, if you will, I don't want to see that at all. If he wants to kiss his boyfriend, go in the privacy of home, do that. I'm not looking to watch that on television. I'm it it threw me utterly through a loop to see that, and it was uncomfortable. You know, I wanna know what you guys feel. Do you, do you feel uncomfortable also? Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check me out at justmypicks.com each and every day for all the breaking news. Also, follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. Also, check me out YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV. Remember to subscribe, share my videos in your sports group. Thank you very much and check us out each and every week. Thank you very much.